Hey, let's quickly revise AS12, Accounting for Government Grant. This standard has only two parts. What is a government grant? How to account for government grant? What is a government grant? Government grant means any assistance from government in the form of cash or kind. Who is a government? Who is giving the grant? They are saying government includes three people. Central and state government, government department and agencies, any other body, whether local, national or international, which is similar to above state or central government any other similar body to the above that means US government or Indian IMF or World Bank all these things this is government grant definition government helping in government grant for accounting there are saying two important things to account a government grant you have to check whether there is no uncertainty in amount and there is no uncertainty in ultimate collection same condition which comes in AS9 then they are also saying government grant does not include two things to help from government one government participation in equity of the company that means government investing or any tax exemptions given by government is not included in AS12 government grant we started off the definition by saying government grant includes assistance in the form of cash or kind now let's go to accounting of government grant second part this cash grant is called monetary grant kind grant is called non-monetary grant non-monetary grant means received free of cost how do you account this no non-monetary grant means not received free of cost case just checking if you are focusing even though it's a short video non-monetary grant means receiving in kind in this non-monetary grant we have two types grant received free of cost grant received at concessional van value concessional value how do we account whatever asset you received asset account debit to bank for whatever discount you paid let's say iphone for 1 lakh was given to you at a discount of 70,000 entry will be iphone account debit to bank for 70,000. Second, if asset is received for free, let's say government gave me an iPhone for free, then what I can account because I never got paid anything, still the entry will be asset account debit. Instead of crediting bank, I will credit capital reserve at a nominal value like 1 rupee, 10 rupee, 100 rupees. So, non-monetary grant debit will always be asset. Question is what to credit. Coming to monetary grant, you can guess. Monetary grant means I am receiving cash. Therefore, debit will always be cash or bank account, whichever government is giving cash or bank account debit, what to credit. Monetary grant is classified into three parts. Grant in the nature of promoter's contribution, grant in relation to specific fixed asset, revenue grants. First, grant in relation to promoter's contribution means government is contributing like a promoter to set up the business. Here the entry will be bank account debit to capital reserve. Last one, revenue grant is where they give on a recurring basis. So my entry will be simple, bank account debit to PNL or bank account debit credit the respective ex expense to bring the expense down in my books of accounts. Last grant in the nature of specific fixed assets. Government is giving you money to buy an asset. In this specific fixed asset they are classifying into depreciable fixed asset and non-depreciable fixed asset. First when I buy the asset entry is going to be asset to bank. That is simple. Second entry when you receive the grant whether it is depreciable or non-depreciable type of asset that you purchase entry will be bank account debit credit the respective asset because you got money from government to buy the asset so entry will be bank to asset asset value will reduce if it's a depreciable asset only if it's a depreciable asset entry will be bank account debit to deferred income if it's a non depreciable asset like land entry will be bank account debit to capital reserve the second method of accounting is more logical where they don't want to disturb the value of the asset that means when you credit deferred income what happens is asset remains at same value so every year from deferred income account you will transfer the balance to PL account in the proportion of the depreciation that is being charged on the asset this is quick concept summary lastly we have seen now accounting for when grant is received what happens when the grant is refunded whatever you pass the entry earlier for accounting for receipt of grant you have to reverse for example when you receive the grant entry was bank to asset now when grant is refunded entry will become you will credit bank and debit the asset asset account debit 
to bank because you are reversing and giving the money back. This is the accounting for refund of government grant and refund of government grant as per AS 12. In AS 5, it is treated as an extraordinary event. This is quick capsule summary of AS 12. Thank you.